There's nothing worse than corpsing when you're an actor. Yeah. And, and you were young. <laughs> Shit. To the uninitiated, corpsing is, is, is when you uh, un unintentionally laugh and ruin a scene. You brushed your teeth today? Yeah. <laughs> and it's an absolute nightmare and you can't stop yourself laughing. It's, it's a real uh, uh, extreme form of hysteria in your body. Well, listen, we should get a cup of tea or something sometime. <laughs> but, well, listen, we should... <laughs> well, listen, we should... <laughs> well, listen, we should get a cup of tea! <laughs> well, listen, we should get a cup of tea or something sometime. <laughs> Oh. By the time you're laughing during the sixth take, no one else is laughing anymore. Oh, it's awful quiet. The difference on this programme is everybody corpses. Uh, uh, and, and there's nobody worse than Ricky. Morning, campers. <laughs> Andy. When you're acting, you're not caught up in the moment. Anything can put you off. You're never not aware of your surroundings. So suddenly, one little thing of bring out the absurdity of, of what that, you're doing, exactly. of what you're doing, and you just go, you just, it's impossible. <laughs> Personally, I like to think of myself as a consummate pro. I don't get it. You don't get it. <laughs> I don't laugh or anything like that. I'm very hard to um, get going. Action. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even watching. <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, it looks like you're indulging yourselves. Yeah. Because you know, you're laughing. And of course, laughing is the one thing you associate with being irresponsible or joking around. And it's not, it's, it's just this uncontrollable reaction. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't get it. You don't get it. I've been without a man so long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't say anything. Oh, it was hard that, and I felt I felt ashamed. <laughs> you don't get it. I've been without a man so long, I think I'd say yes if Ray asked. I'm not coming into that. <laughs> <laughs> Corpsing is one of the most bizarre sensations. You can't really explain it until you've experienced it. You got my pen? Yes, take, take it. Oh, I've seen it. I didn't know. We're have, having a wank? Yeah. <laughs> it's all over the place! Let's go again, I'm so sorry! I've never found a scene so hard to, to perform as the one in which uh, Andy Millman catches the agent masturbating. Are you having a wank? <laughs> I dread to think how many takes it took, and in the end we were all gripped with, like, a, an hysteria, and, and you really didn't know when it was going to end. And luckily, I, I think we nailed the scene in under a couple of hours, which was good going. When I wasn't really acting in the office and I used to watch Ricky crack up during scenes with other actors, it frustrated me. I didn't understand why you couldn't just stop it. It was like they were having a laugh. They were indulging themselves. They were being children. And it's not till you're there and the cameras are switched on and something is said and it sets you off yeah, and you can't please, stop. Please. You having a wank? <laughs> <laughs> You've got my pen? Yes, take your pen, please. You having a wank? <laughs> Yes, I take it. All right. Having a wank. <laughs> oh, right. Hello. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's already absurd because I'm on my knees and he has to ask me the question, are you masturbating? Which is always going to be tricky. Two grown men, one of whom is asking them that question. Are you masturbating? <laughs> ask me again. Were you masturbating? <laughs> it's the silence as well. Because we knew that we had to leave 
Like, and, and I love those pauses. I love doing it longer than <clears throat> you normally would. And of course, all the time, Steve's thinking, any second now, he's gonna say, were you masturbating? Were you... Were you masturbating before I came in then? Were you masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> I was one second away there. I was one second away. Well, I should have locked the door, but I didn't think ahead, and the moment took me, and I just went to serve. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. We haven't talked about this. No, I didn't think I had to. No. But can you look me in the eye? <laughs> Almost certainly not. <laughs> Never have I laughed out of place, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Until today. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you cannot have the script. <laughs> You'll learn the words, yeah. and you will say, speak them as if you were saying them for the very first time. Yeah. And, and you were... Shit. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> Have you still got that cat suit from the Avengers? I was a model of professionalism. Go away, Daniel. Oh, he laughed. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was one moment when... Um, I was doing a, the sort of the film sequence with Warwick Davis playing uh, a wood elf, and I went up to him and I had to say, Wood elf, why do you cry? Blow as I might, my flute makes no sound. And he's doing this little voice, and every time he said the word flute, it suddenly became incredibly funny. Blow as I might, my flute makes no sound. Can't you see I'm upset? <laughs> Wood Elf. Sorry, I'm laughing. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> my flute makes no sound. And without my music, the birds cannot sing their morning song. This is we serious. Know, <laughs> You try everything to put yourself off. You don't look at each other. You know, you try to think about other stuff. Ashley, at one point, I remember, just started running around the set as though that was so much she was going to run off this laughter that she had. Well, listen, we should get a cup of tea or something sometime. <laughs> oh, right. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. This is all good. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get water. I thought I'd learnt not to corpse, especially on live TV with some of the things that I've seen. <laughs> but he was absolutely ridiculous. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know who's talking to you. <laughs> and then he starts corpsing. It's the worst thing for me ever. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just done the most unprofessional job in my entire career. I've done nothing but laugh through the whole day. <laughs> Men have knobs. Women have fannies. Pop knob in for me. <laughs> <laughs> I do this little scene with my finger and this being an orifice and keep poking like this. I, I, I can't tell it, I was sweating buckets. A man has a knob. A woman. <laughs> On the TV, it takes about 30 seconds, but here in the studio, it's taken <laughs> nearly four hours. <laughs> Pop knob in funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is madness. Proximity is funny as well. So if you're talking to someone, uh, it's funnier if you're talking to someone, uh, it's straight away you're going, well, I'm never going to get through this. Because you can see every bit of fear in their eye. You can see a slightest movement if they're going to laugh. <laughs> If they do that with their mouth, and you're gone. You see, men have knobs. Women have fannies. 
pop knob in Fanny. <laughs> You fucking... Oh, God, you don't know how hard that is, Steve. Well, I was losing it here. <laughs> don't fuck <laughs> me! I, that, I defy anyone. Just sit there. It gets earlier in the take. So if I know that that's coming, I start laughing just slightly before that. Pop, knob. Infamy. <laughs> Men have knobs. Women have fannies. <laughs> a man has a knob. <laughs> it's tiring. It's because you think, well, I'm never going to get this now. Pop knob in fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! OK. Pop knob in fanny. Not up your arse. I look straight at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what could be more normal than shoving your cock up a man's arse? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's keep jiggling. <laughs> okay. Check his place, cock. <laughs> of course, sometimes you do deliberately try and make other people corpse. We should my, flag that up. My favourite thing. If I can put someone off but without actually going wrong in the scene myself. That's like a little game. I, I just play it in my own head. I'm actually having the drink. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> and action. None taken. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Very still. None taken. <laughs> what I do sometimes is say things just before a take. There was one thing where I had to say, I'm going to the Ivy. Before action and outside of the camera, I just said to Ashley, OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick a word on the end of Ivy. So she thinks, oh, what stupid word is it going to do to put me off? And what the word was, was just restaurant. Do you want to go for a quick pint? I can't tonight. Why? What are you doing? I'm going to the Ivy restaurant. You know uh, Vernon Kay and Tess Daly? <laughs> yeah, don't laugh. What are you laughing at? She laughed because she knew that that was the joke, that it was a normal word. I, I look, look, looked fine. I looked like I was just saying, I'm going to the Ivy restaurant. And it put her off every time. Do you want to go for a quick paint? I can't tonight. Why? What are you doing? I'm going to the Ivy restaurant. Oh, God! Do you want to go for a quick paint? I can't tonight. Why? What are you doing? I'm going to the Ivy restaurant. <laughs> Do you want to go for a quick paint? I can't tonight. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> And you'll see in the scene that when she laughs, OK, because I've made her put that, I go, oh, like that. So everyone around's going, oh, come on, come on. But bear in mind, this is his TV programme. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go for a quick paint? I can't tonight. Why, what are you doing? I'm going to the Ivy restaurant. <laughs> oh, God! Do you want to go for a quick paint? I can't tonight. Why, what are going you doing? going to the Ivy restaurant. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>